Alright, so in this Algebra 2 video, we are going to be discussing logarithms. Let's get started. So if someone tells you log to value log base 5, and then they say 25, here's what they're saying. What power do you have to raise 5 to to get 25? In other words, this can be written in exponential form. So this can be written as 5 to the x power is 25. And you obviously know 25 is a perfect square. 5 squared is 25. So x equals 2. Meaning that log base 5, 25 of 25 is equal to 2. What if someone says that you have log of base 4 of 1? What's that equal to? Log of 1 is always equal to 0. So the answer is 0. Because 4 raised to the 0 power is 1. Anything, if we have x to the 0 power, that's going to equal 1 for any value of x. Any real value of x, of course. That's the basics. Now let's see if you can convert something from exponential form to logarithmic form and vice versa. So if someone says 2 cubed is equal to 8, convert this equation, convert this to logarithmic form. And I'm going to give you the standard thing. And you're going to need to fill in the base and what it's equal to. All right, so hopefully you've come up with a solution. This is just what power do we need to raise 2 to to get 8, right? What power do we need to raise 2 to? So log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3 because 2 cubed is equal to 8. We already know that. So that's how we write it in logarithmic form. And a big part of understanding logarithms is just converting between exponential form and logarithmic form. Now let's try something with just variables so you get a little more comfortable. The x to the z power is equal to y. Convert this to logarithmic form. Now hopefully you've converted this to logarithmic form. If you haven't, I suggest you pause the video and do it before watching the solution. Now, you've probably noticed a pattern. The exponential base becomes the base of a logarithm. So log x, and then what it's equal to becomes log of, in this case, log of y is equal to c. In this case, this logarithm is saying, and I'm going to put the x a little bit down because it's base x. So, yep, that's more example. More. So log base x of y is equal to z. So this is basically saying you have to raise x to the z power to get y. So whenever you're reading a logarithm, you're raising the base to the power on the other side on the equal sign. In this case, we're raising 2 cubed. And then once that's done, we take this result and say it over here. So in this case, we start at the base x. We go over to z. And once we've gone over the equal sign, we say x, we raise it to the zth power. Now we evaluate what x to the zth power is. In this case, we don't know what the two values are, so we have this in exponential form, we know it's equal to y. So we take this, we put it over here, and that's how we construct a logarithmic equation. And it, uh, a big part of logarithms is that people get confused all the time because they get confused. Sometimes people get confused like, People say you need, like a lot of people they say like log base three of three is three cubed, which it's not. People get confused all the time and you need to remember how to convert between logarithmic form and exponential form. Now a good way to remember this is whenever you're converting, let's take another example. I'm going to erase all the ink. And we are going to take an example. Let's take 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. 
We know 5 squared is 24. Now, let's turn this into a logarithmic form. And a quick way to do this is take the base 5. Put it under, put it base logarithm. Now, take the equal side on the exponential form. Put it here. Okay. And now, take the exponent, put it on the other side of the equal sign. And you're done. You've already converted. Basically, what we're doing here is log, log base 5 of 25 is equal to 2. And we've done that by using our method. We take the base of the logarithm. We put it on the other side of the equal sign. We, squ we square it because it's a 2 over here. And then that's equal to what's, whatever's over here. So hopefully now you're comfortable with logarithms. Hopefully you can convert between exponential form and logarithmic form comfortably. Hopefully this video is helpful. And yeah, that's logarithms.